Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm happy to have you. Today we're going to be talking about the Ryobi 9 inch bandsaw. This is a really great tool, something I use around the shop quite often, especially with uh, woodworking. Something that you should know about this is that it does have a 2.4 amp motor. Uh, it runs off of 115 to 120 volts, 60 hertz, and that is in the United States. The cutting capacity is three and a half inches. You have multiple blades that you can put on this particular machine. It has pivots. Um, the table itself is a miter table, so it does uh, tilt to 45 degree angles. You do have a nice fence that comes with it as well that does tilt as well. And it gives you different degrees. On the back side, you do have your tensioner at the top. You have your belt release in the middle. And then this is the actual tilt uh, or camber of the actual wheels inside. And I'll turn that to, to show you. This is where you set the depth. This is a lock right here. So you release this. And then this is actually the depth of the cut that you're going to use. And really, the reason why you want to use the depth of this uh, particular cut is because that'll stabilize and it'll help the deflection of the blade depending on the material that you're cutting and how small it is. You want to make that opening just wide enough so you have free flow of the material that you're cutting. To have clean and solid cuts and you don't want to throw the blade. So looking on the inside, you have two great spoked uh, cast aluminum wheels. Uh, I think it's a, it's a pretty well-made um, machine. Down at the bottom, this is where uh, the motor is actually out on the back side. It's a typical motor. It's brushed. Uh, but it is belt driven. And this belt is a 3920359F. And it's just a typical tooth belt um, that drives the wheels here. The wheels do have a lining on them that the blades ride on. Uh, there is uh, blade guides uh, that help you. So there's a double roller uh, bearing in the front. Something that a lot of people don't talk about, but we should talk about, is right here, the on and off switch. You can see that the switch is red, but in the middle you can see that that's yellow. And it says remove to lock. So that actually removes and I don't know if we can I'll try and show a close-up of this when you do that you can't turn it on because this is a lever mechanism uh, that pushes past inside of the lever that actually turns the power switch on and it turns the power switch on and pulls it back off so that's a very important feature that you should know especially if you have children that right out it's a safeguard so you don't really have to uh, worry too much if your kids are running around in your shop and you leave your tools plugged in I don't leave my tools plugged in I've got six little kids I take every precaution possible and they are not allowed in my shop unless I'm there <laughs> so today we're going to be doing a couple of different tests with this uh, I'm going to be sawing through a 2x4 a four by four, which as we know, this is a three and a half by three and a half, at least in the United States. Uh, and then I'll be doing a quick radius cut. This is a six inch circle out of a half inch piece of plywood. And we're just gonna see how smooth it goes in a circle. I have the blade that came with the machine. This is not an aftermarket blade. Uh, so um, this is what you're getting out of the box right now when you buy these. So let's jump into it. And I'll give a review when we're done. Okay, so first up, we're going to cut the 2x4. This is the 4x4. Four four. Okay, 
So last up is the half inch plywood. We'll be cutting out the circle. I don't think I'll have to do any relief cuts, but uh, let's just check it out. So everybody, what did you think? I think it cut the wood like butter. The great thing about bandsaws is that it's one continuous movement for the blade when you're cutting. So there's no recovery rate when you go back and forth, such as a scroll saw. So it makes cutting things a lot smoother and a lot easier in a lot of cases. If you don't have really tight bends or things like that, you can do a simple radius like this or different shapes. I think this is the way to go. It's a really, really useful tool, especially for the homeowner. So if you all like this video, hey, go down and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Take care.